And here comes Tanya Harding. And she now, Tanya Harding, with a chance to win a trip to Germany. And there's such a, a tremendous difference. If you finish third, you skate in Munich. If you finish fourth, you stay at home and watch on television. She was second after the original program, 20 years old from Portland, Oregon. Wound up seventh in the Nationals last year. And she's a very powerful skater. She's tiny. She reminds you somewhat of Liz Manley of Canada, a little bit of Janet Lynn of the United States. Great power, great speed, and great athletic ability. And the question is whether three moves into the program, she will do a triple axel. First, a triple lutz. And now the question is whether she will become the first American to attempt and complete a triple axel jump. We will know that here, whether she tries it or not. Good girl! Oh, isn't yeah. that great? The first time an American, only Majori Ito, has completed a triple axel in competition. Oh, how nice! How terrific! Well, she's written a little history, and she still has three minutes left in this routine. She, Tanya Harding. She looks thrilled. This is where she's really improved in her skating, is holding out her moves and really feeling the music. I really see a big growth in her skating in that territory. Taking her time. Mm -hmm. And again now, if she wins this phase of the competition, she would win it all. She would beat Yamaguchi. She has the biggest smile on her face. Triple loop jump. Wonderful height. Wonderful stretched legs. choreographed by Barbara Flowers, the same lady that choreographed the Rosalind Sumners. Triple flip. She is definitely on today. Well, I would imagine what she did early on, Peggy, would have taken her confidence level to a point oh. she's never reached before. I'm sure that helps a lot. during this spin combination. And now only one remaining difficult move, the double axel. And a final move, a dead drop into a back sit spin. And what a moment for this young lady. Oh, oh so nice. Just terrific. Just oh. terrific. Tanya Harding is going to Germany. The only question is, will she be wearing silver or gold? Oh my God, 
Well, it doesn't really matter. She's created her own goal with this performance, and it doesn't matter whether the, how the how it you know falls out with the markings and the ordinals. This was a performance for history, for yeah. sure. Go back and take a look at something never performed before by an American and, skater. And look at the edge that she's going into. She steps, now watch both arms stretching up together, full force into that. That was beautiful. Little wide swinging leg, but who cares? <laughs> Here it is. Now watch the arms and the legs all come together at the peak and turn. <laughs> and she knew she held it before she was even finished. Uh, how nice, how nice. <laughs> well, last year, last year she was in good shape going into this phase of the competition, but she ran a fever, 103 degrees, and finished seventh. Here come the marks now. Technical merit, and they are all five nines plus one six. And those technical marks are better than Yamaguchi's. 5.9. A look there at Christie, and if her marks here overall are better than Yamaguchi's, she will win the whole thing. Now, Yamaguchi had all five eights and five nines in composition and style. There is one five seven, several five nines. And one five eight, mainly five nines in composition and style for Harding. So the computer is tabulating it right now. And let's go to Beth. And five Tanya, you told nine. me earlier in the week you were not going to tell anybody whether you were going to go for the triple axle or not. When did you make the decision and why? Um, I made it yesterday and I knew that I had nothing to lose. I could go out and do everything. And I'm so happy with myself. And I just want to thank God and my club, Carousel Figure Skating Club, for all their support, and especially my husband. I don't think I need to tell you, but you are in first place right now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Congratulations. Back to you, Al. And that means she is just one performance away from being the national champion with only Tisha Walker yet to skate. We'll be back.